Hi everybody, welcome to a new all of the above budget movie review. And this time we're going to into we're going into classic territory. Yes. We're going into the works of Wes Craven. The guys we the guy we know from Nightmare on Elm Street, Last House on the Left, Scream, and many more horror movies. Um, this one was one of his first, he written and directed this one, and it was The Hills Have Eyes. And it's about a family who gets uh, stranded in a desert and a bunch of, well, cannibal mutants make their life a living hell, literally. Um, not everyone survives, and the ones who survive wished they didn't. So it's horrible it's uh yeah it was for for that time it was very edgy um it had a man being burned alive it had rape it had yeah it even had the thought of a baby being harmed we see a somebody grab a bird and drinking it dry so it's macabre and it's a wonderful wonderful horror movie it's like horror should be it should make your skin boil and make you think like what would i do if i was in that situation hoping you never come into that situation of course so um yeah, so I, I love the first one, and it's a classic, and I was, well, pretty amazed by the people playing in this. Um, of course, there was a sequel, The Hills of Ice Part 2, the one with the flashbacks, the one where even the dog gets a flashback. This is more like a slasher movie. It, it kills people off uh, one at a time. Uh, it has not doesn't have the same spunk as the first one has. Uh, we see uh, one returning um, cannibal. Uh, we see him on the cover, so we know he's there. The dog returns and gets his own flashback um and it's well not the best movie ever made um but it 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 doesn't really complete the movies it has enough um to pra to put it behind the first one it has a reoccurring a re returning character uh it hints on the first one, uh, but that's all where it stops. It's just a generic horror movie. Um, I think if they would would have released it on another title, it would be a good B-movie. But now it's just, it rips on the name The Hills Have Eyes. Um, yeah, I'm curious. Um, did you see The Hills of Eyes? What did you think of it? Let me know down here. You can subscribe down here and like this video. And I would just like to say thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.